So I want to shift gears for a minute and talk about exercise snacks. So we're going to talk about improving metabolic health, but also longevity. And exercise snacks, it's kind of a broader term, but it really can refer to either a deliberate sort of type of exercise that you do for one minute, two minutes, three minutes. And this is anything from burpees to squats. Um, you can do high knees. You can do, you know, there's a variety of different things that you can do to, to get your heart rate up really high in a short period of time. And um, we're talking at least 75% max heart rate. And there's studies showing that it real, there's a real metabolic benefit to even doing a minute or two of, of this exercise snack type of exercise. And that, again, comes down to lactate. Lactate, you know, muscle, you're forcing your muscles to work really hard. Lactate gets, you know, into circulation, gets taken back up by the muscle, and it causes glucose transporters to come up to the muscle and sort of open the gate so that glucose can come in. And, um, you know, so this really improves blood glucose levels. And there's been a lot of studies looking at this, particularly in people with type 2 diabetes, doing exercise snacks around mealtime. So anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour before or after a meal can really dramatically de decrease the postprandial glucose response and, and improve blood glucose levels. Now, sure, that's important for people that are metabolically dysregulated, people with type 2 diabetes. But like, who doesn't want to improve their postprandial glucose response? I mean, that's part of what makes you feel sleepy and you reduces mental clarity after a meal. So doing, timing these exercise snacks around meals is a, great, is a great and sort of easy way to improve your blood glucose levels as well. And it's pretty easy to do. Um, the other way it improves metabolic health is these exercise snacks, when you're doing a high intensity you know, interval training sort of thing, even one or two minutes, but mostly when you're going higher than that, like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, uh, it's a very potent stimulus to increase the number of mitochondria in your muscle tissue. Again, it's an adaptation. You are forcing your muscles to work so hard that they can't use their mitochondria because, it's the, again, oxygen can't get there fast enough, and so they're forced to make energy another way. But your muscle is smart. It's like, oh, I need to like adapt so that the next time I'm working hard, I can use my mitochondria. And the way it adapts is by making new mitochondria. It's called mitochondrial biogenesis. And high-intensity interval training is one of the best ways to increase mitochondrial biogenesis in skeletal muscle. Again. Lactate plays a role in that because lactate is that signaling molecule. It increases a protein called PGC1-alpha that regulates mitochondrial biogenesis. Exercise snacks have also been associated with improved longevity. So there's another type of exercise snack that's a little bit more of taking advantage of like everyday situations. It's called vigorous intensity lifestyle, um, sorry, vigor vigorous intermittent lifestyle activity. And um, these, these types of exercises are like, Let's say you, you work on the fourth floor of a, you know, some office building. So rather than just walking up the stairs every day, which is better than taking the elevator, you sprint. Or let's say you, you know, walk to your office. Well, rather than just walking, you interval walk or you, you sprint there. You, you do some sort of interval where you're getting your heart rate up. So there have been multiple studies showing that doing one to two minutes of vigorous intensity exercise. So people, these large studies, people are wearing wearable devices. And so um, researchers are getting their data, their heart rate data, and, and able to measure something and identify people that are getting their heart rate up, right? Um, and so people that do one to two minutes of vigorous intensity exercise a day, um, sorry, three times a day, had about a 40% reduction in all-cause mortality, so that's dying from all like non-accidental causes of death, and a 50% reduction in cardiovascular-related mortality, which is like the number one killer in most developed nations. So this is, again, just one to two minutes three times a day, where you just, you're, you're doing those exercise snacks. It adds up, it's beneficial, um, and, and clearly it's making an effect in, in people's lives. And, and these, are, it, these benefits were also found in people that identified themselves as non-exercisers. In other words, they don't like go to the gym, they're not, you know, they're not, they're not taking time to like deliberately engage in a sort of exercise routine and they still have these benefits. So how do you implement you know, exercise snacks in your day, why would you want to? Well, there's, there's, there's evidence out there that just being sedentary, so like right now we're all sedentary, where you're, you're sitting, well you guys are, I'm not, yeah, you're sitting, you're sitting in your, your chair, you've been in here for about, what, an hour or so? Um, that is sedentary time. When you're sitting at your desk, at your computer for six hours or whatever, fill in the blank time, 
even though you're going to go to the gym later, or maybe you went earlier, that time that you're sitting is sedentary. And being sedentary is an independent risk factor for cancer. Um, so there is reason to kind of break up your sedentary time with exercise snacks. And again, these would be like a deliberate sort of thing that you can do. So I think that maybe if we all just kind of stand up for a second, and we're gonna do we're gonna do high knees because I feel like that's like the the easiest thing to do, right? Like there's enough space for that. Like I don't think we can do burpees right here. All right. <laughs> Actually, so. The, the, to wrap this part of my talk up, <laughs> all you need to do is some high knees, right? <laughs> no, um, yeah, so finding something that you're going to do consistently, that's, that's really important, right? I'm talking a lot about vigorous exercise, but it needs to be something that you're going to do consistently. Whatever it is, Norwegian 4x4, if, it's, if that's your thing, I definitely like, <laughs> you're, you're, all, you're amazing. Um, so, you know, the, the thing is to really just measure your heart rate, right? That's, that's the easiest thing. Uh, make, it, make it consistent, do something you like.